Send it to the nearest KFC. Ha! KFC. Yeah, wouldn't the irony be if it was actually chicken? <laughs> Well, uh, Finny Finn, I'm doing quite well. I have my my classes, my summer classes resume or begin on Thursday. So just uh, getting things ready for those. I have, I think, 10 students total. So woohoo! But uh, at least I am getting to teach. I thought for a while I wasn't going to have any classes. So. Oh, good. Oh, that worked out nicely. Okay, yeah, the levels I had here was definitely worth it. Sweet job, Tom. Yeah, nuts. Okay. Okay, let's, now that I've got levels, let's go back and try this again. Oh, uh, I teach history at a local community college, so I get to talk about dead people all the time. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. I very much enjoy it. It's it's something I want to do basically for the rest of my life, uh, although unfortunately it don't pay for crap, but yeah, what can you do? Hmm. Because 10 students the class are so spread out. Oh gosh, chat's moving too fast. Uh, yeah, I've not really done I've not really done hybrid per se. I've done online teaching and I've done in person, but I haven't done the mixture. It seems like it would be a little a little bizarre, yeah. bad at history. I'm not good with facts. I like concepts better. I can understand that. I mean, that's one of the things that I like to try to tell my students is I, my goal in at least some sense is to try to get away from the idea that, oh, well, you know, you've got to memorize all these people and all these things and be able to tell me the the royal line of England after the conquest of William in 1066, and you know, blah blah blah. I don't, I like, I try to get away from all the lists and stuff. Yeah, let's try it. So, hopefully, ideally, that'll work. You know, ideally, I want to keep my students, of course, interested in the subject matter because I think it's interesting. I really enjoy history a lot, and I try to communicate that to my students whenever I can. I probably do better at some times than others, but still, it's a good thing anyway. Let's go to English, French, and history with bad at math. Well, here we go. Yeah, I will say, I've been trying to... Generally speaking, I try to, I mean, obviously, with as a history teacher, you have to talk about a whole bunch of things, and a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of events, stuff like that. So I try to make it as connective as I can. Darn it. I try to make it as connective as I can, just so that it'll make sense. I try to make it to where it would connect, really. 
Let's see, math, French, and Spanish came to me pretty easily, but English I had to work really hard. Yeah, it's, I mean, one thing that I try to tell my students is for folks who don't like history, it's okay. Everybody's got different, everybody's got different interests, different, you know, um, different orientations, different things that they're good at. That's fine. I just try to communicate as best I can, and I try to make it as as connective as I can so that it's not just a whole bunch of dates and names and all that jazz, but that it instead, you can see, hey, when we talk about the ancient Greeks, we talk about you know the advent of Athenian democracy, we talk about the Spartan military, but we also talk about Alexander the Great and why his trek across Asia to try to conquer the world, which he only conquered like 5% of it, but his trek to try to conquer the world ended up changing civilization for people, well, all over the world, really, because of the spread of Hellenism. Hi, Janice! Sorry, the neighbor's dog's barking again. So, uh, yeah, that's how I try to go about it, is I want to make it connect. I want to make it to where... Yeah, I want to try to make it to where students don't just study it for the sake of a test, you know? Mm -hmm. No, last time I read a book was about two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of funny because... A more modern interpretation of Alexander the Great gives him these air quote or gives him these quotes around the word great, because they'll show a map of the world and just how, you know, how much he thought he was conquering and how little of Earth's actual surface area he conquered. It's kind of funny. Um, yes, I'll try to double these coins, please. Okay, fine, I'll take a tie. Got 173 coins from this battle. Dear God. Yep. Okay. Combine history and languages. You've got me in the bag. Uh, yeah, I like languages. I, I only know a smattering of... I mean, well, obviously I know English, but I only know a smattering of foreign languages. Of, I know, uh, hablo un poquito de espanol, uh, parle un peu de francais, and then I know smatterings, like occasional words in German and Italian. That's really about it. But I also have not had any formal instruction in either of either Spanish or French in seventeen years, something like that. Well, since college, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was going to say, Wallach, you might be thinking of uh, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, uh, sorry, Wallach's in my chat. Uh, they were mentioning that uh, Attila the Hun, Attila the Hun's um, a genetic material, shall we say, is present in a large population of the world. I think that's more Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan supposedly is directly... Do what? I was just torn from the, uh, the epic rap battle and Genghis Khan oh. oh, wow. Uh, he's supposedly responsible for, like, 0.5% of modern human population's DNA. Something like that. Very crazy. Yeah. Now, granted, Attila was one scary SOB back in the day. I mean, so much so that well, an entire people group basically got mistakenly named for him.
Let's see. I uh, studied Spanish for four years. But <laughs> lost all your lost all your Spanish. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Oh, three years. Okay. I know enough Spanish to be dangerous. <laughs> I don't really know enough Spanish to be dangerous, particularly. I just know a little bit of it here and there. Probably the most coherent sentences I can say in Spanish are talking about my name, the fact that I speak very little Spanish, and where's the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. I miss El Baño. Donde esta el baño? Also, I think somebody in chat was asking what your favorite subject was in school. I don't know if you saw it. Well, mine is always just in any sort of math. This just was my favorite. <laughs> Algebra, geometry, all that shit. I like physics a lot, too. Oh, God. I, uh... When I took, when I took physics in high school... I don't know what happened, but there was some sort of quirk with my schedule where I couldn't take... Uh, sorry, I'm reading my chat. Where, for some reason, I couldn't take... I think I was supposed to take a, a biology class or something like that, and I couldn't take it my junior year or something like that. So in order, in essence, for me to be able to actually pass high school... I had to take physics without having any connection to it. And, boy, that was rough. Even with the teacher helping me out, it was hard. Milo is not cotton candy. <laughs> Let's see. I had to do five years of high school because I didn't take any science credits when I got my diploma. Oh, yeah. Well, when I started... I don't want to do that one yet. When I started high school, the Alabama had just started doing a where you were required to take four years of... Four years of languages, history, uh, sciences, and that sort of thing. So, <clears throat> but yeah, physics was really, really rough. And then I tried to go into engineering in college, and <laughs> that clearly worked out well. Yeah, it w worked out so well that I lost a couple of degrees, or not a couple of degrees, a couple of scholarships, because of how badly I did. Oh, Lord, another one? Oh, boy. Can anybody else wear this? First of all, can anybody else use that? Uh, no, nobody else needs to. Okay, can you wear that? No. Oh, that's sad. Oh, well. So, just y'all always hate his art history because the teacher I had was awful. Yeah, I mean, that's the... A lot of people say it about history, just general history, too. And I hate that. I mean, not that, you know... Not to say, not to try to demean anybody's experience. I just, I just hate that I get kicked out of engineering my first year because of bad grades. Oh gosh, it let me transfer into a different discipline and I end up finishing. Well, that's good. But I hate that so many people don't like history because the people they had teaching them was bad. And it's just unfortunate, I guess. That's kind of what I want to try to combat, I guess, is is all the bad history teachers that other people have had. I want to prove to them that, hey, guess what? It can be taught well, and I like to think I do a decent job of it. All right. 
right. I don't remember which I learned in high school history, but I love learning about random history topics. Yeah. I mean, really what I, what I try to do with my students and what I want them to walk away from my class with is, you know, an understanding that, hey, history makes what we are. And just to kind of be able to look at, just to be able to look at it and understand kind of how the world got the way it is. Yeah. Hmm. Um, another note, please be careful with spoilers, but because of that one comment about cake, I know where Tim is now, so. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, I, not, like I said before, not too big a deal, but just be careful. Okay, do I want any of this? Probably not. No, I don't. Okay. Nope. I am going to sell a few things, though, because I have way too much crap on my hands here. Uh, that, well, I'll keep that for now. I only need one of these. Do, do. So, so you're fighting Bunt right now, I guess? Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, when I, uh, a little while ago when I was like, Vanilla! That's what I was commenting on. Oh, because that's the only boss I've noticed that's in its vanilla spot so far. Makes okay. Sense. Yeah, one of my favorite, st uh, really one of my favorite teachers in high school was my 11th grade history teacher, um, Coach Wilson. He wasn't actually a coach of anything, though. I don't know why they called him Coach Wilson, but. Who knows? Uh, but. He, he likes to tell, he likes to give what he styled as brilliant lectures. And uh, so he was a little full of himself, but, uh, oh, oh, I would have rather this been later. Yipes. But uh, anyway, so he, he gave what he styled as brilliant lectures, but um, It, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. It's really where I first came to appreciate history. They, um... Only... Of course, unfortunately, uh, a few years later, he ended up getting thrown in jail for assault. So... Huh. Whoopsie! Yeah, yikes. Uh... Hmm. I mean, as far as questions about the DQ11 LP, uh, first off, I'm really enjoying it too. Uh, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you've decided to go with some of the "but thou must" moments in the story decisions. It's fun. But yeah, it's it's really. I mean, good teachers are essential to really everything that we do. And, unfortunately, it's a bit of a shame that we, I mean, that we don't respect them enough, I think. Ooh, okay! No, so you should turn off your Super Nintendo. Just kidding! Oh! Ha <laughs> Oh, so that's one of the NPCs in Mary Moore, isn't it? Nope. No? Oh, I, I do remember that from somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. Dun, 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 dun. And I mean, as much as I kind of, I kind of hate to say this because it almost feels like I'm trying to, trying to or I guess complain a little bit about my own state of affairs, but I feel like the teachers that get the least respect are basically teachers like me. Like, I teach part-time at a community college, and we get nothing. 
I can imagine. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. And I don't want to bear on it too much, but... But, uh... The amount of money I make teaching would probably shock all of y'all as to how low it is. It's, uh, I mean, I don't work three jobs for my health. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> but, uh, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things that there's so much attention paid to K-12 teachers, and there should be. I don't begrudge that. I also don't begrudge, you know, the idea of putting money into four-year schools and university cause, universities, because those are really important, too. Those are important for a host of people. But unfortunately, um... But unfortunately, I feel like community colleges kind of get left out in the cold a lot. Oh god, uh, no, hide on, please don't kill me. Oh, holy crap, um, I'm gonna die, again. Yeah, I'm just bad at timed hits against this opponent, and it's going to cost me. Fortunately, this is a low-stakes spot, so I'm not too torn up about it. Jesus Christ. Let's see, community colleges get shafted hard despite the fact that they're great resources for getting started. Well, I mean, the biggest thing with... With community colleges, I think the thing, in essence, its greatest strength is also its greatest weakness, and that is that that is that the community college, the whole mantra on which a community college essentially succeeds, is we educate for cheap. You now that's well, that and the fact that it focuses primarily on career training. But in large part, the thing is we we cost a lot less than a four-year school, which is true. The problem is that comes with a caveat. Yes, they don't charge as much for students, nearly, but it also means they don't pay us either. Because that's always the flip side of it. They don't charge that much, but they also don't pay that much either. So, I don't know. It, it's a catch-22 of sorts. And don't get me wrong, I very much enjoy teaching. I just don't enjoy not getting paid very well for it, is the thing. Yes. That lack of appreciation, especially for, you know, the subject matter and stuff. Like, if you're just another teacher or whatever. Yeah, well, I think another, another thing with it as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I think another thing with it as well is... It's, it's supply and demand, too, because you've got a lot of teachers coming out of schools. And that's understandable, of course. But the thing is, though, there's not enough teaching positions for the number of teachers. So you get a, a glut in supply, which means if demand is lower than supply, then wages are low. So that's just kind of kind of comes with the territory a little bit. All right, I got to count this one. So 230, 116, all right, that's about 350, 350, 360. At, oh God, why are y'all hitting so hard? About 420, all right, okay, cool, that's fine. No, it didn't work out for other reasons. It turns out all the teachers who told me not to go into teaching were probably right. It's... I mean, really what it boils down to is... Really what it boils down to is if you teach, then... Then, then teach because you love teaching. Don't teach because of the money, because the money ain't going to be there, most likely. 
And yeah, uh, Luigi, there's that too. Yeah, yeah, there's that. Alright, now my best move is to go up here next. I mean, like I said before, I want to... Basically, I want to be pretty much in a classroom until they freaking have to drag my bones out of it, basically. I love doing it. I don't want to do anything else with my life. But I would love to also get paid better for it, too. So, you know, be actually able to, you know, travel, for instance. I mean, I was... At one point early in my online dating existence, I guess, uh, you know, like two, three years ago, I was, uh, I had a pretty good thing going with this girl from Switzerland. And we got along in a lot of ways. We had a lot of things in common. But unfortunately, it didn't work out because she asked me point blank. She said, so when do you think you would be able to to come here. And I told her, honestly, I said the answer honestly would probably be at least years before I could go there because I just don't make enough money to really travel. I mean, the going to MAGFest a couple of years ago was the first time I'd traveled in several years before that. And I probably won't be able to afford to travel all that much from here on forward if things stay the way they are because I don't make a lot of money, and I've got to spend what money I do have, you know, taking care of myself. So, that being, that being said, though, I am probably going to go into uh, private tutoring starting this summer, and from my understanding, it does a lot better on the money front being a private tutor than being a teacher. Go figure. At least in terms of hours. Or, like, hourly wage, what have you. Well, that's a mess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Monk, I mean, that, uh, you mentioning wired concert so expensive. God, it reminds me what people what people say about artists, like, especially artists on online. Like, you should do it for free! You're working for exposure! Exposure don't pay no bills. <laughs> yeah, we can pay you in exposure. Or her. Oh, well, you could pay us an exposition, too. That's my job. <laughs> The really struggling artists are putting on super cheap shows. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Aw, Robin! Robin, you didn't have to do that. Sweetie! Five tier one subsidiary over here. 